Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to understand one important feature in a Microsoft Fabric that is a SQL Endpoints. SQL Endpoints is a very cool feature. With the help of the SQL Endpoint, we will be able to query on top of the Delta table. So till now what we have done, we have created a lake house. We have created a tables on the lake house also. Now suppose we have a few of the consumer, we have a couple of the consumer and what actually they want? They want to analyze this data. They want to analyze this data. So how actually they can analyze this data? With the help of the SQL endpoint. With the help of the SQL endpoint, what actually they can do? They can write any kind of the SQL query. They can write any kind of the SQL query and they can analyze the data, whatever is available in a, a lake house. So it's very cool feature. Previously, SQL endpoint we were only using out for the, for connecting the Power BI, or if you have to connect with the SSMS, for that we were using. But now, but now SQL endpoint, we can also use it for the querying a table, for querying a table and do the analysis. I hope you got the idea. So what is SQL endpoint? A SQL endpoint in a lake house is a feature in a Microsoft Fabric that allows user to query lake house data using T-SQL, just like querying a traditional relation database. Just like a relational database, we write a query and we analyze the data, right? With the help of the SQL endpoint also, we can do that. So let's see in Microsoft Fabric, how actually we can query a data. So I open a Microsoft Fabric. Now we'll go to the workspace. This is the Fabric Dev workspace. We will go to the, our a lake house, which we have created. Now I will show you. In a lake house, you can see we have one of the table that is a employee table. This is the employee table. Now if you want to analyze this, so for that what you have to do, you have to open a SQL endpoint. How actually you can open this? If you are here, right side you can see you have one option lake house and second is the SQL analytics endpoint. If you click on the SQL analytics endpoint, right? You can see one SQL query engine like how actually we were doing in Azure SQL, right? It got opened. Now if you want to write any kind of SQL query, click on the new SQL query. And the left side you can see branch is the data lake house which we have created and DBO is the by default schema which got created in the table right we can see employee table. Now if you want to write any kind of the query on top of this you can write. So if I write select star from the name is EMP let me run this you can see I am able to run the SQL query and I am able to analyze. Now, now suppose you want to analyze the data like based on each location what is the total salary of employee. So how actually you can write a query. So if I write select sum of salary sum of salary sum of salary based on the address from employee table and what I will write group by address address if i write this query let me zoom and if i'll execute you can see based on the each location like india what is the total salary this much for usa this is the total salary so like that we can analyze the data with the help of this now suppose does this sql endpoint you want to share with some other people so how actually you can do that one easy way I will show you, go to the workspace, go to the fabric dev, you will see this option, right? SQL endpoint, click on this and here you will see a one detail, copy SQL connection string. If you copy this and you can share with others. So this will help them to connect with the Power BI and to create a reports. So I hope you got the idea about the SQL endpoint. Yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks.